I'd say put a little little juice on each episode that you put out, like maybe 25 or $30 just to bump the social proof. 25 to $30 like over the, the first 24 hours? Yeah. Just, okay. Just give it one good initial bump. Got it. And that should give it enough attention that Facebook will favor it in the organic algorithm. Got Plus, it. Plus, because you put money on it, they're going to be like, oh, well, you spent money on it. Let's, let's push it out a little bit more. But basically the way it's working right now is if you have traction, you have people engaging with it, they will favor it. This okay. whole organic reach is dead thing is, is, it's true for those that aren't providing value, but for those that are providing value, it is not true at all. Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. What's up, everybody? So Fridays are crazy uh, for me because I'm usually gone Monday through Thursday. So Fridays are like my only day in the office. And there's like just a billion different things that have to get done. Have you ever felt like you have so much to do that you get none of it done? Like that's kind of what I feel like right now. So just trying to bang out a bunch of these emails and uh, get as much stuff as I can get done before our webinar, which the first one starts at three. We'll get some footage. Um, from those, um, we're supposed to do a podcast in 10 minutes, but that person has gone completely MIA, so that's always awesome. Uh, I'm doing a, a Zoom conference call with a guy at two uh, that I met down at uh, Agent 2021 in Miami, so that's cool. Um, he's like a really good guy. So, pretty much it. Um, not a lot of exciting content to come from today, but it's just kind of is what it is. Just getting stuff done. Hey, what's up, Mike? Tyler Harris. Hey, man, what's going on? Oh, not too much. Is now a good time for you? No, it's fine. Okay. Just playing weird lullaby music for the baby. <laughs> some uh, Metallica and ACDC. Nice, <laughs> nice. Um, but it's just such long form. Like, we're getting some shorter form content um, cut out of those. Um, should I do more towards that stuff, or is it good to get the vlog out there? Here's my thought on it. The people that want to watch the vlog are going to come to, come and do it anyway. Yeah. So, uh, like you said, the first two as a groundwork, I would I would focus there. Okay. Um, I would put some money towards the short form, of okay. course. And then on, <laughs> I'd say put a little little juice on each episode that you put out, like maybe twenty five or thirty dollars just to bump the social proof. Twenty five to thirty dollars, like over the the first twenty four hours. Yeah, just, okay. just give it one good initial bump. Got it. And that should give it enough attention that Facebook will favor it in the organic algorithm. All right, man. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. No problem. All right. Have a good one. Hey, what's up, man? We're having a little uh, internet issue over here. So, just got that resolved. <laughs> the key, I think, to our business is recommendations. If you yeah. can build referral sources and get recommendations from every single customer, and everybody in every business does a really poor job of this. Everyone is shitty at this. They just mm -hmm. don't ask. Yep, exactly. So I think if I could come up with a way for people to easily ask for recommendations and then not be awkward for them, what we do through the call marketing is every recommendation, we call them recommendations, not referrals, because referrals is more of a sales term, recommendations is more of a client term. Yeah. So we say, it, it, we, we ask for recommendations. Jason keeps looking at me and saying we're live, but 
I don't see anything. I don't hear anything. Roller coaster. Except for Tyler singing, which has made me just throw up a little in the back of my throat. Now, personal responsibility. It is the cornerstone of anything worth building. And the number one thing you can do when you're first starting to take personal responsibility is look yourself in the mirror and go, congratulations. You're everywhere that you got yourself. And if you're in a pile of shit, then you need to congratulate yourself for getting yourself there because it's your fault you're there. And if you want to turn around and blame someone else, then what that does is handcuff you. And if it's someone else's fault you're there, then you're gonna need that someone else to rescue you. And you may just sit in that pile of shit a long time. But if you can, if you can look in the mirror and realize that you've gotten yourself everywhere, good or bad, on this planet, and you realize that, and you take personal responsibility for that, it literally breaks the handcuffs off and allows you to go and make something happen, to pull you out of where you are right now. Does that make sense? I hope so. Because that's good stuff right that's there. That's great stuff. <laughs> That's why that's our value. What's up, Instagram Live? Hey, I uh, wanted to jump on here. If anybody has any connections with Facebook support, um, for those of you that don't know, my Facebook business manager and now officially my Facebook uh, fan page has been hacked. Um, they're posting random stuff. They're deleting tons of my stuff on my page, including my uh, daily vlog, the daily bread. They've deleted like three of those, and uh, I can't get them off. Uh, and I think they have the ability to kick me off at some point here, uh, but it's completely hacked. There's five people. Um, I can't even read the most of their names. One of them's name is Daniel Carter. The rest of them are all names I can't even read. Um, have hacked onto my page and no idea how to, no idea what to do. Um, chatted with Facebook support Friday. They were no help. Said that they would email me within 20 to 48 hours. It's now been over 48 hours. Haven't heard anything from them. And the chat function with Facebook support's not back online till tomorrow at 9 a.m. So just trying to figure out what to do. Um, pages you know stuff's getting deleted left and right they just posted some crazy article that people were sending me um screenshots of that i obviously didn't post and that so if you guys can uh, if you know anybody at facebook or know anybody that has dealt with their accounts getting hacked before if you could let me know you guys know the amount of time effort energy and money um that I have uh, put into this page, so would love to uh, obviously not lose it. So, anyways, hope you guys are uh, having a good Sunday night. If you're watching the Super Bowl, having some fun, I'm here dealing with this nonsense. But uh, if you do have any help, um, shoot me a DM and let me know, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.